After week eight, the Chicago Bears loss. We ran a story early November, you see it right there, calling out how the Jets continue to put Sam Darnold in bad situations. Look up the stats. Force feeding the run, bad play calling on first down, antiquated offense, it's all there. Now check out these stats. After week eight, 4.1 yards per carry, 21st in the NFL. But they ranked 11th in the NFL in actual attempts. Now fast forward. After week 16, 3.9 yards per carry, 30th, they've dipped to 15th in attempts. How is it possible Sam Darnold is improving and the offense is playing better? Well, it's because of this. Two weeks ago, we ran a story comparing the Jets to the Chiefs and how the Jets' antiquated offense is not catching up, has not caught up with the Jet sweep and certain principles Andy Reid and other coaches are mixing in. It was a very detailed, one-off, one-by-one, play-against-play breakdown that showed how Reed manipulated the edge with certain jet sweep principles. And the Jets are still running old-school Bill Walsh end-around types with Robbie Anderson. Now, it doesn't have to be Robbie Anderson. Even though you don't have Tyreek Hill... This principle that puts pressure on the edge can be mixed in and should be mixed in with every NFL offense until the defenses catch up. It's the same thing as the read option. The read option is a little tougher, you need a mobile quarterback. But with this, every team has a weapon. Finally, Jeremy Bates has caught up. He has figured it out. It only took 15, 16 weeks, but against the Packers, he ran, I think it was six or seven, pure jet sweep concepts with Trenton Cannon, and it's working. Rushing the ball is not essential in today's game. It's just not the 1980s anymore. Todd Bowles, maybe he's finally understanding this. You throw the ball early to score points and win, you run the ball late to close it out, and it's helping Sam Donald flourish. Here's what it looks like. After Darnold picks up a first down on the very first play of the game, Bates cooks up his possibly first or second jet sweep, true jet sweep principle of the season on the Jets' second play of the game, first and ten. There's Cannon on the wing, dual halfback offense. He goes, jet sweep motion, little inside zone to McGuire, who picks up a nice chunk first down. You'll really get a sense of how this works from this view right here. For some reason, the Packers had a dime in against base personnel. I have no idea why, but that's a different story. The principles still hold true. There goes Cannon. What it does is take Clay Matthews on the edge and also the roaming safety on the edge. They have to respect that outside play. See them there on the left? They're stunned. They have to stick with Cannon. This allows so much room for the back, McGuire here, for cutback space purposes on the opposite side. And here it works to the tune of a first down. More jet sweep fun. Again, pro personnel, dual halfback, single back, single back in the backfield. There's Cannon up top at the wideout position. This is more traditional jet sweep coming from the wideout position. He's coming on the jet sweep, the rip motion. It's a fake and it's a quick power toss to McGuire with the left guard pulling. Look at all that space. I mean, McGuire pretty much walks in as the second level is completely distracted. Here it is from the up top camera view. Cannon will be coming at your screen. There he is. He's coming on the rip, the jet motion, jet sweep motion. Drone's going to fake it, and then the quick power toss with the guard pulling. Look at the second level and watch how they react. There goes Martinez. And number 27, completely fixated on Cannon. And why wouldn't they be? The Jets haven't run this offense all freaking year. So, until defense is starting to stop it, Bates should keep going. Bates rolled with three more examples of the Cannon-McGuire combo jet sweep principle during the game against the Packers. Most of it was in the first half. Um... Kind of disappointing, he didn't carry it over into the fourth quarter, especially when the Jets had the lead. I felt they got a little too conservative when they were up in the fourth quarter, especially on the second to last drive. It wasn't until Rodgers scored that they again 
allowed Darnold to, to start passing ahead of the game. Let's see what Bates does in week 17. It'll be very interesting to see if he comes back with this same principle or if he goes back to his old antiquated offense.